Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about factor affecting performance of anaerobic digestion. There are several factors that affect the performance and also the amount of biogas that can be reduced from certain feedstock. I will start with uh, the first one is the uh, substrate composition and every substrate has its chemical and physical characteristics. And this actually characteristics can affect uh, the stability of the process and also the handling of uh, digested material or basically the substrates that will be uh, treated. And also it can affect the effluent from the digester. Uh, physical properties include uh, including uh, bulk density, particle size and the viscosity. This actually are important properties that can affect the design of handling and also mixing and also it can affect the need also of um, the need for a particle size reduction in case there are some big particles that we need to commute uh, 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 to, to, to grind before the digester itself. Uh, of course, every organic matter uh, contain uh, carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen, and some macro and micronutrients. And these uh, are important actually for bacteria to grow. And also some of these uh, micro elements are important for the enzymatic reaction as well. Uh, each species of the anaerobic digestion microorganisms uh, they required actually a certain ratio of carbon to nitrogen, and this is what they call it CN ratio. And uh, usually, the uh, optimal range for the CN ratio is between 20 and 25. And uh, below this, this means that you have more, you have, uh, more uh, nitrogen, and this uh, undesirable because basically, if you have uh, a um, nitrogen rich, rich uh, feedstock, it can produce a lot of ammonia, and then ammonia can inhibit the process. On the other hand, if you have higher CN ratios, this may be uh, there are some nitrogen limitation for microbes to grow, and also it might actually lead, lead to the uh, higher concentration of volatile fatty acids that also can inhibit the process itself. Uh, most organic uh, waste, uh, especially manure and food waste, contain enough actual nutrient for microorganism growth. However, for some other industrial uh, organic waste, maybe they are uh, deficit of some nutrient and uh, external source of micro and macronutrient may be added to the substrate to uh, make sure that there are enough nutrient for bacteria to grow. Okay. Uh, the second factor that affects the performance is temperature, and, uh, and of course, it's temperature because uh, important factor for um, kinetics and also it's important for microorganisms, uh, especially if we look at the microorganism. In our case, we have a different uh, fermentative uh, bacteria and also methanogens, which are archaea, and each of these has optimum temperature and there might be some ranges at which the microorganisms uh, are grown. Uh, the growth rate of microorganism, of course, increase with the temperature up to an optima and then maybe there are some kind of uh, dying or some kind of uh, reducing of the growth rate and um, finally the process can be uh, stopped. Um, for anaerobic digestion, it can be uh, attained under psychrophilic conditions, it's basically under 25 degrees C or mesophilic from 25 to 45 or thermophilic 45 to 65 or hyperthermophilic, which is above 65. However, the most actually common uh, temperature are mesophilic and thermophilic. There may be actually uh, some kind of uh, psychrophilic, but it's actually in cold weather basically because it's not actually uh, common and also the rate of uh, conversion under lower temperature will be lower compared with or lower than the uh, 
creates under higher temperature. Uh, thermodynamically, the biochemical reaction requires less energy to proceed at higher temperature, which means that a higher temperature will be faster. So basically, and uh, the rate for most reaction uh, or chemical reaction, especially uh, doubled with uh, a temp as temperature increased by 10 degrees C. Uh, of course, the, the effect of temperature on the performance of anaerobic digestion may not be straightforward. It can depend on substrate concentration. For example, if we have the uh, manure or maybe food waste or some other organic with uh, higher nitrogen, it can actually produce ammonia. And of course, the ammonia as a toxic uh, compound can, uh, especially the ammonia, which is the free ammonia, increased with the temperature. This means that you will have more uh, inhibitory effect under higher temperature. So basically, uh, it's not really straightforward. It means that um, as an operator of the digester should watch for also some other uh, factor besides the temperature or some kind of side effect of higher temperature that can affect the process performance and stability. Okay, here this is uh, just as a uh, depiction or this is graph for uh, the ranges for cyclophilic and the mesophilic and the thermophilic uh, uh, microorganisms. And if you look at this one, actually just relative uh, growth rate, this means that if you look at the cyclophilic, maybe if the growth rate is about 20% under cyclophilic, the at mesophilic, it might be over 40% compared with 100% under uh, thermophilic conditions. This means that just, just, just to compare the the growth rate of mesangenes under uh, different temperature. In fact, again, uh, um, the optimum temperature for cyclophilic might be about uh, 18 or 20. And then if the temperature actually increased, this actually lead to die off of the bacteria. Similarly, for mesophilic also maybe about 35 to 40. And then higher temperature increase can cause the death of uh, organism. Similarly, uh, thermophilic is the same thing about maybe 55 to 60 and then uh, increasing the temperature beyond 60, it can uh, reduce the uh, growth rate of methanogens. Okay. Uh, the next factor is the pH and the pH is uh, also uh, affect uh, the performance and it's actually uh, by itself, actually, the pH is affected by the composition of substrate and operational conditions. As I mentioned, uh, if you have higher temperature, if you have higher ammonia, uh, higher ammonia means that you have maybe have high buffers. This means that you have a higher pH in the digester. And the pH might be uh, okay to have a higher pH, but also depend on this kind of balance. For example, if you have some inhibitory effect, uh, inhibitory compounds that can be affected by the BH. So the BH will be a factor that should be watched by operator. The BH, of course, it depends on the rate of acidification and the mesanogens. If the rate of uh, mesanogens is lower than the acidification, this means that the acidif uh, acidification or acidogenesis can produce more acid that can drive the pH to lower value below six, which can cause inhibition for microorganism or methanogenic archaea, basically. As the optimum pH uh, for uh, most of methanogenesis is from seven to 7.8. And this is basically the, uh, the bill shape curve here is uh, just give uh, this kind of uh, relationship between the activity of methanogens uh, against the pH and uh, under lower value, maybe below six, you can find uh, relatively low activity and also beyond the eight or 7.8, basically there are some uh, lower activity of microorganisms there. Okay. Uh, uh, again, this is just to give you the, uh, the shape of the pH fact pH value that should be maintained inside the digester. Uh, retention time is of course is important also factors that uh, affect the performance, especially uh, retention time. This is basically the, the time that um, 
uh, or at which the feedstock remains in, constant, in contact with active microorganism inside the register. And of course, the detention time is one of the important delay factor for sizing the register. And of course, it can affect the economy. If you have small registers, this means that might be cheaper, cheaper than have higher, uh, larger register for the same amount of substrate. So basically, uh, the design uh, of the register is really important. And then to have this retention time as one of the design factors that should be taken into consideration. Of course, the detention time depends on the chem chemical composition and the physical characteristics of the substrate, and also the rate uh, of microorganism metabolism. So basically, if you have um, uh, easily biodegradable material, it might be uh, faster uh, in converting it to um, biogas compared with uh, slower register or, or um, material with lower rate of, rate of degradation. Uh, for example, here, this is uh, uh, agricultural waste usually has some kind of luminous material, so it has low biodegradability rates, so longer retention time need to be maintained, and therefore, it might be actually uh, reflected on larger size of digester, so, and in turn actually affects the economics of the process. Retention time can be expressed as hydraulic retention time, and solid retention time. So all the time we, we have this hydraulic retention time if we have a continuous stirred tank reactor and this will come to this in another uh, lesson. And uh, solid retention time, this uh, basically uh, uh, also uh, is the average retention time of the suspended solid or the microorganism inside the reactor. Uh, however, actually the HRT, again, it's the retention time of liquor inside the digester especially for uh, continuous steel tank reactor. If we have a batch reactor, this we we'll call it actually just a retention time because it's basically how much time uh, elapsed between uh, putting the material in the batch reactor until they are removed at the end of the batch itself. Uh, mixing also, this is another factor that uh, affects the performance of the digester. And it's... Uh, Important because it helps homogenizing the reactor content and breaking down substrate or larger particles, especially, and exposing the larger surface areas of substrate to microorganisms. Uh, of course, adequate um, mixing is needed to prevent the development of stratification. The stratification stratification uh, means that you have different layers of uh, substrate and, of course, intermediate inside the digester if you don't have enough uh, enough uh, mixing. For example, if you have uh, uh, fibrous material, it might be actually uh, fluid on the top layer and you have the remaining is in the bottom of the reactor. So this, basically this is what we call, what we call it, the stratification between, or you have different layer of, of material inside the digester. And of course, if you have this kind of stratification, it might actually have different pH, so basically you can have a different region with different pH and of course a different microorganism in different uh, uh, areas over the reactor, reactor height. So in this case, uh, you may not be actually having uh, efficient uh, conversion of the substrate to biogas or other intermediate who are interested in converting organic matter to, for example, into volatile fatty acids or other intermediate instead of converting the that material to biogas at, as the end, as an end uh, product. Uh, mixing, of course, it, it can help also in maintaining the temperature. If you have this homogeneity, if you have homogeneous uh, content, this means that temperature uh, is over the reactor content is the same. So basically, you have this kind of uh, homogeneous temperature or uniform temperature inside the digest. Uh, uh, of course, the, the mixing depends on uh, the digester type, the digester shape, and also solid content inside the reactor. If you have uh, a cylindrical shape of the digester, it may be actually easier compared with having some kind of cube shape digester. It will be having some kind of areas where the mixing is not enough compared with the uh, cylindrical shape, for example. If you have 
low uh, low solar content in cells that register it can be easier to to mix compared to with higher solid content. Uh, of course, the uh, this is the mixing also make distribution of uh, substrate uniformly. As I mentioned, it's just homogeneity of uh, of the content. Uh, with that, I would like to stop here. And if you have any question, you may actually uh, you may uh, uh, post it in the comment. Thank you. Bye.